Hello, <laughs> I think we're live now. Um, just having a bit of trouble uh, with the connection there, I think. And somebody's just coming on, so hello. Uh, oh my goodness, hello, Karen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support and cheering me on, really, really appreciate that. Uh, boost of energy, thank you for being here. So um, I'm trying to read the comments, but um, it's a little bit difficult with my glasses. So anyway, lo lo lovely to have you here. Thank you, thank you for joining me, everybody. It's, it's wherever you are in the world, happy Mother's Day. And thank you for, for being here, it's really, really appreciate it. So um, today I'm gonna do a design in, in my grandma's butter churn here. And um, yeah, it's just sort of been, you know, a fan for, not an heirloom, but it's something we've sort of had, had you know, for a long time. And um, it, it was, uh, you know, it goes back to the, the 1930s. And it's, um, so here are the paddles. So we're going to take that out. Um, and it just says, I don't know if I can read what it is. It's the Daisy Churn, it says, uh, number 40. Uh, it's pretty difficult in the light. And it says painted. 1922 and it's it's the daisy churn and manufacturing company st louis missouri made in usa so anyway i just thought that was uh you know a little a little, little bit of interest there but it, it makes a nice 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 chunky plant container it's got lots of room in there for water um and so i, I thought we'd uh, have, have a go there and um do a little design in it and on uh when was it last a few days ago i was recording a video to go out um to with my um to my e in my email newsletter next week and i was doing this uh, big hand tied design and i had the table up a bit higher and uh, i was i had to sort of hold it up here and it was this great big thing and about halfway through my arms <laughs> and he's like oh no i can hardly hold this great big thing and trying to look and it and i actually found it really sort of stressful um and difficult doing this design and i thought well, what is the point of you know, why, why do I want to be teaching this thing? It's really stressful and difficult. Um, and I wanted to be able to sort of step back and sort of just take it a bit more slowly and look at it. And so this, this technique is much, much easier. You don't have to, it gives you the control of, of the hand tie, but you don't have to um, hold it up in your hand. So it, it's much easier. And um, just to say about floral foam, that that back in the day when people were learning with floor foam, it was, it was really easy. You know, you just sort of stick things in and they go where you want. And it's so if you're learning, it, it's a really easy, you know, it's a really easy thing to do. And I think it's a shame now with, with the no floor foam, it's, it's a bit sort of more challenging really for people to, um, to learn that. So I'm looking for a technique where you can just put things in and they'll just sort of stay exactly where, where where they want to go so i'm going to get started and try, try to stop stop talking um, and uh, get on with things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a base out of um some some sort of foliage material and then we're going to arrange into the base so um i've got here i just want to say so i'm digressing this this for people who don't don't live around here the, where i go on about cow parsley this is what cow parsley looks like and it's this lovely light sort of fluffy thing but it's very difficult to use in arrangements because you can see it's all sort of straggly and all different heights so it's quite difficult to use um but i, I picked some of that this morning you know it's, it's a beautiful beautiful thing and um this is ami which is sort of the equivalent of cow parsley that you buy and you see it's got a nice straight stem with a little nice so this this is why the wild thing isn't as popular as the the ami there so anyway so i i don't think i'm going to use that but possibly that that could have gone in there today but i i'm uh, I, I don't want to sort of complicate things too much so i'll just put that down there and what i've got as the base here this is um they call it green bell over here or Flesby, Flesby, but I think in America, I think they call this cress. I think this is, this is what is cress. And it's a, a salad vegetable and it runs up to seed and you get all these light fluffy things. Now I've just got this in a little, but I've just bunched it together. And I don't know if you can see that look to me, that almost looks like a bouquet, just like that really. It looks all right, so <laughs> I'll be happy with that. So that, that is gonna be the base for the design. Now there's not enough material in there to um, support the plants. And I just want to um, show you, I've, I've got these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful roses. Now, what I don't like about arranging in a vase is obviously you put it in and it, it's all gonna flop about and it's a bit difficult to, 
you've got no control. So that's what I don't like about arranging in a vase. And one of the ways people would get round it is I've got a little container is to put a chicken wire in the top there. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's chicken wire. Somebody just come on, I can't read. Is that Amy? Hello, Amy. Hi, hello, Amy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to keep up. Sorry if there's somebody there that I can't, haven't said hello to. So yeah, ch chicken wire going in the bowl there. And um, these things, got your pin holders. I, you know, I don't know if people are aware of pin holders. It's, it's like little nails on a metal thing. And so you put that in the bottom of the container and your chicken wire on top and you sort of arrange into it. But uh, the thing about it is, it's, it's quite sort of spiky and prickly. And if you've just come home from the supermarket and you've got a bunch of fruit, you, you don't really want to go out and start faffing about with pin holders. I think you want to be able to plonk it in a vase. So um, that, that's just, just a little bit about containers. Now I'm going to put some water in here, but not too much, just in case I need to... Um, tip it forward to show you the design. So there's a little bit of water in there. So the thing I like about this is it's got a nice wide neck it, um, and, and a nice sort of wide thing. And I don't, I've got this here, this is a hat box. And I don't know if you've seen these, but they, these are quite um, popular at the moment to, to, to put flowers in. It's lined with plastic. It's a paper hat box. And um, th this would be quite good for this design. If you've got something with a nice wide top like that, that, that would be a, a good good container to use as well. Um, so, um, and the thing about it I wanted to say is, is that you see these florists and they, they, they do their things and they've got behind, they've got all these shelves with all these, these containers. They've got like loads of all these beautiful vases and stuff. And, and probably in your home, you, you probably don't have an awful lot of containers. So you've got to sort of double up and use, you know, use some, some different containers. Um, that, that you've sort of just got around you. So that, that's really why I've uh, you used that container. So now this doesn't require any, any floristry skill. So that's, I think that's really great that you don't need a lot of floristry skill. And so, but what you do need is for this base is to find some something, it's very light, fine material, and it's all got nice straight stems. So I've got this thing here, this is wax flower. The wax flowers have all fallen off, but it's got lovely fine, delicate little foliage and nice, nice straight stems. So if you buy stuff in the shops, it will always come with a straight stem. You won't have a problem. But the trouble with me is I'm always going off around the, around the roads, picking stuff and you get all these wonky stems. And I've got here some limonium and you can see it's all light and fluffy and airy and beautiful, lovely straight stems there for this design. So you've got no wonky stems, no short stems. It's all, all nice, long, straight stuff. And I've got some grass here. You could just pick grass, <laughs> just any old grass. But this, this is called, um, uh, I think it's called steel grass or something. It's got a bit of a blue, blue in it. So I'm gonna do uh, a green and white design. So I thought a bit of blue would be nice. And just to show you, um, I've also picked, I'm not going to use this today because I haven't got enough of it, but I've got like Pittosporum, this is out the garden, and you, you've got a nice straight stem there and some, you know, very small little, little leaves on it. So something with small leaves and, and straight stems will be ideal for the base. And what else? Oh, I just picked some hawthorn here. This grows all around the hedgerows at the moment. Nice, it's a bit sort of curled. I don't think that would really work because it's sort of curled over. But um, anyway, I'll, I'll pick that this morning. So we've got some nice straight stems. And the thing is, look, you see, you don't really have to do anything. <laughs> it's already done. So all we've got to do is just mix these through together with a bit of grass, and that's going to make the base. So anyway, here we go. Um, now, you don't need to do the spiral technique with this. If you don't know how to spiral, that's absolutely fine. This, this will still work. Um, but if you do, I think somebody else has come on, but I can't, sorry, I can't read. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I can't, sorry, I can't read who you are, but hello anyway. Um, and um, so, oh, I forgot what I was saying. Yes, oh, spiralling, yes. So you don't need to spiral if you don't want to. Um, but if you know how to spiral, it, it's a good pra practice to do. I'm just seeing my camera's just gone. Um, there's a, uh, anyway, yeah, if you know how to spiral, it, it, it's a good thing to do because it protects the stems in the design and, and you get a nice pattern in, in the, uh, the base of it. But it doesn't matter. All you've got to do is just sort of bunch this all together 
and um, you know, so just try and sort of distribute it um, evenly through through the bunch. So it's really you're just bunching it all up. It's it's really really straightforward um, and easy thing to do. So I'm not going to put this thespi around the outside because it looks. This looks a bit floppy, so I'm going to put that sort of more to the middle of the bunch. And the, the stiffer, straighter stems can go, oh no, I've forgotten the grass. So I, I could have put the grass if I forgot, forgot to put the grass in. But that, that would be, um, now would be the time to put the grass in. I wonder, anyway, I'm going to leave that. But obviously th this grass, it would be a bit difficult to work that into the design um, at the end. So... Um, yeah, perhaps, perhaps uh, let, let's just put a few little bits. No, I'll, I'll leave it, I've forgotten it now. But that you could weave in that or anything like the cow parsley. Now would be a time to put that into the design so that it's getting lots of lots of support from um, from the other plant material. So I'm just gonna bunch this together, not you know, not not sort of worry too much about how it goes goes in. When you're doing these bunches, you see gaps and you just put you put things where you see a gap basically so it's quite quite easy really but I found with this with the spiraling that I, I found it quite difficult when I when I first learned how to do it it was like, oh god it was really hard but um it's just over time every time I've got some flowers in my hands I always just I just automatically just spiral them together because it protects the stems it makes them look pretty and then one day I just sort of thought oh yeah I know how to do this now and it became sort of really very very easy so there's our bunch. I don't know if you can see. So it's a bit sort of a bit straggly and uneven, but I think that'll be that will be all right. And I'm just going to even off the stems a little bit because we're going to put it into the vase. So um, just straighten those off. That's it. So right. So so there it is. There's there's the container, and I'm just going to plonk this into the container and just let it go a bit loose. I need to be a bit higher up, <laughs> stand up on my toes, really. So there we are. So now we've got a nice, even base there to put our flowers in. Now I'm just going to try, just make sure there's enough, um, enough plant material in there for this to work. So I've got these roses. Now you've, you've got, got to be a bit careful with this thing to make sure there's no knobbly bits on the stem so obviously I've taken off all the thorns but if you have anything with sort of hooks or crooks it, you won't be able to slide them in and out in fact I think I'll do it with a uh, one of the, we've got this Veronica which is really lovely it's got really lovely smooth straight straight stems so this is Veronica and um, it's absolutely perfect you know lovely lovely long straight stems so with this design so now that we've made our base you should be able to just sort of poke things in and they just stay they don't move they just stay wherever you put them they just stay so is this this is like this is the way i say it's easier than floor frame you just plonk it in and it, it doesn't move <laughs> It's amazing, it doesn't move. So that's what I mean, it's like just like floral foam. So that's a little bit long there, so we just cut that down. And if, you know, if the phone rings or you wanna have a cup of coffee, you can just stand back and oh, just relax. You don't have to hold it in your hands and keep, you know, manipulating it all. So it's, it's really nice. I think somebody has joined. Uh, oh, Aunt Green, hello. Oh, welcome. Oh, lovely to, lovely to hear from you. Oh, that's so nice to have you here, thank you. Um, so, so here we are. So, um, really, the the Veronica should should go in uh, later. So I've got these beautiful, beautiful roses here, and, and like I say, they've got these amazing long straight stems. I'm just going to cut that down. And, and look, all you do, you just decide where you want to put it, and you just stick it in, and it, it's it's sort of fixed. It doesn't move. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. So with these. They need, you know, they need, to, you, you can look with the, with the, the, the um, so I'm, I'm just short, look, that's the connection there. So you, you can look where, where I'm just banging them on the table. You can just see where, where the stems are going to go. And um, you, ju you, you just poke it in where, where, where you want to go. Now, the thing is, because you've got the shape, you're just following the shape that is already there. You, you haven't got to sort of think, oh, this goes up there, or does that go down? It's just a, a symmetrical round shape. And you, 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 you just follow the line that you've already got created with, with your, um, 
with, with the base that you've already already put in. And so when I'm doing this, I've got one in the middle, and you want to try to do odd numbers when you go round so that it doesn't look square. If you do a four or an eight or a six, it will look square. So you want to try and do odd numbers. Um, so I've done a one and a three, and I lost one of the roses, they snapped off, so I'm one row short, but it should be a one and a three and, and a six, and, and then, oh, I can't do the maths now, but I haven't quite got enough to do the, um, the shape that I want to do. So two, four, six, isn't it? So it should be, yes, oh, that's right. So it should be four and then, and then um, go around with, with two in each, of, in each of these ones here to make another three. So, but anyway, I haven't got quite got enough, so I'm just, just cutting the ends off these. And um, yeah, so I just think this is really, really easy, easy sort of technique. And I, I think it needs a bit more work to, to, to look at some different um, ideas of things, you know, different containers and different me mediums, media, mediums for the base. And um, can, I don't know if you can see, but that, that, they're all just going in perfectly, <laughs> symmetrically. And, you know, you, you don't, when you do the hand tied, um, this is one of the things that I find sort of quite difficult about it is that you place the, the flowers into the bouquet and, and you're going along and, and they move within the bouquet and so you're going along and suddenly you, you think you've got them all symmetrical and they've all sort of shifted and you have to sort of take them out and put them back in again. Um, and another problem is that some of them sink down into the design so you have to keep putting them up make sure they don't sink down. Now I'm gonna leave those roses, they're, they're, you know, we've got a lovely sort of symmetrical pattern. Can you see? <laughs> it's really, yeah, really, you know, I mean, perhaps it's too symmetrical, I don't know. But it's just what I'm trying to say is it, it's the control that you've got that you can place them exactly where you want and they're not gonna move. And if you don't like where they are, you can just take them out and pop them back in again. So I'm just gonna put this uh, Veronica in and, uh, there we are. So if you put too many stems in your base, it will, you won't be able to get, it, it'll be difficult to place them in. But if you don't put enough, the plant material is going to move. So um, there we are. So um, I'm, I'm just really sort of touched and honoured by, by everybody coming on the, on the call today. I, I really appreciate um, you being here. It's re really a, a big deal for, for you to be here, so so thank you ever so much. And if you could give me some feedback about um, times, what I, I think it'd be nice to do this on a regular basis, to have a regular time slot and say, well, every week I'll show up at, you know, such and such a time. And um, so, you know, I'd, I'd like to do it at a time that's convenient for you. So if you could let me know um, in the comments when when's a good time, um, that would be lovely. Now I've got some freesias here and they're really fragrant. Yeah, they're worth having them just to get some fragrance into your design. And again, they, they've got lovely, look at these lovely long straight stems, beautiful. So, um, and yeah, you know, you just, just, now that we've got the roses in, you just look for a gap. And the, I just, I can't remember who I was saying this to, but all, all you're doing in, in flowers, you want, you're just filling up the gaps. <laughs> you just put the plant material in and when where, where you see a gap you just just fill it up with something so it, it's quite straightforward really so this this is more or less I'd say this you know this is good enough really you've, you've got um half a dozen beautiful roses in there and some freesias um and and the um the, the uh, lovely Veronica and um now this is starting to get a little bit congested actually here yeah so you've got some really lovely you know this this would make a really nice for Mother's Day, as a, as a gift gift bouquet, this would, this would be really lovely. So um, I'm I'm just 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 plonk, plonking these in. Where there's a where there's a. Well, I think we're back now. So there it is. I don't think I'll go on too much. I've got this September flower. I've got some more more things. I I just wanted to say about the the, the colour scheme. It's it's, it's green. It's obviously it's green and white. So you you can't go wrong it's just green and white <laughs> you can't go wrong with it and all the interest is in all these different um different flowers that are in here so this september flower could i don't think i will put that in it would need 
it, I think it would be too much, but you could, you could, you could keep going round. Um, I mean, I think that that's kind of all right for, for me. I'd, I'd be quite happy with that as it is. But uh, with, with these bouquets, you, once you've got that far, you, you can just go round and you, you can put in another, another layer of flowers and then another one. And you can just keep going on and, and, and putting more and more and more uh, plant material into your design. But um, I think for today, that, that, that's, you know, I've, um, that, that's enough. And um, so, uh, yeah, so I, I've got this September flowers, some Astrantia here. But uh, if, if you're not sort of sure about colours and stuff, green and white is, is a dead cert. It's a really easy um, colour to do. You, you, you can't go wrong with it. But um, you, you get lots of variations in the sort of the creams and yellows and, and what have you and, and the greens. So there is actually lots, lots of different colours going on. But you don't, you don't have to sort of think about colour palettes and stuff. So it's a, it's a really, um, really easy, easy colour scheme to do. Um, so anyway, I didn't talk about my grandmother. No, I'm just eating. <laughs> I was going to talk about that today, but I, I never sort of got round to it. But it's just, um, you know, she used to keep goats and this, this was her, her butter churn. Was, um, she used to make butter for, for, her, for her goats. So anyway, I, I never got round to that. So anyway, I think that, that's it now, really. So I, I hope, you know, please do have a go at that. It's really, really easy design. If you can get something to make a base, you know, have a go and a nice container here. And, um, you know, uh, tr try that at home, a ni nice symmetrical, um, uh, there's a gap there, actually, I need to put an extra rose in, I've just noticed, um, there. And so if you've got any questions, please, please you know, feel free to, to, uh, to, to, put, put, to, to, to uh, leave your questions and comments. And it's lovely, you know, being in touch with you on, um, on Instagram and, you know, seeing what you're all up to. So anyway, let me know about times. I'd, I think I'd like to do this every week. I think it'd be quite a nice thing to do is have a regular slot. And, um, I, you know, I really, really appreciate your time and thank you ever so much for being here. So I'll, I'll call it a day there. Um, have Enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day. For some of you, it must be the, the beginning. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. It's been really lovely, lovely being here with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you.